Hi everybody, I'm Carl Sheehan, Market Manager with Boards. Flyback converters are frequently used in offline power supplies, converting 230 volts or 120 volts down to a DC of different levels, 12 volts, 10 volts, etc. A flyback converter consists of a magnetic device with a primary and a secondary winding. Um, in the flyback converter, the windings are, con are conducting alternative times. So when there is current flowing in the primary, uh, there is no current flowing in the secondary, and vice versa. The current flowing through the secondary is going to be the uh, turns times the primary current. So if the, the step down ratio and the converter is N, the peak current in the secondary winding will be N times IPP, where IPP is the peak current in the primary winding. In an overload situation, the peak current going through the secondary diode will, as I've said before, be N times IP. Now, on the primary side, there is always a current limit which protects the MOSFET from being damaged from too much current, but there isn't really a current limit on the secondary side. Therefore, the diode on the secondary side is vulnerable to being damaged by the peak currents during this time. And considering that the step-down ratio for a flyback converter in an offline power supply can be anything from 5 to 10, you can imagine that the peak currents can be quite high. So today I'd like to show a practical demonstration of using multi-fuse high temperature PPTCs connected in series with a secondary which will protect the diodes and the secondary winding from an overload situation. Here we have a flyback converter which uh, we've designed to illustrate the concept. This converter operates at a switching frequency of 67 kilohertz and the primary inductance in the flyback uh, transformer is 33 microhenries. The, this is an EFD15 core. Uh, at the moment I have it running normal conditions, 10.2 volts across a 100 ohm load. The oscilloscope shows the primary current going through the, the, uh, the primary winding. And as you can see the duty cycle um, is, um, is quite long which means that the converter is operating uh, with plenty of plenty of load to, to spare. I'm now going to overload the converter. The output voltage is now 14 millivolts, so the PTC has gone high ohmic on me. In fact, if I measure the resistance of the PTC, It's 56 kilo ohms. So the output has completely dropped to zero. The primary continues to conduct current as before at the maximum duty cycle. Let's see what happens now when I remove the load and I go back to normal operating load conditions. So I remove the load. And I put it back in. The output voltage returns to 10.2 volts as before. So by just removing the overload and going back to a normal 100 ohm load, the output voltage returns to normal. The PTC goes low resistance again without having to recycle the power. So this shows a very simple, effective way of protecting the output diode in your converter and the secondary of your transformer during overload testing. Thank you very much.